Hi guys, welcome to this channel. Yeah, Amos, come on, just subscribe, subscribe immediately because today we're having a very important meeting. Now, when we were together last time, we agreed and tukasema kwamba lazima tutafute wife for Amos and uh, we have done our due diligence, ni metembea hapa na pale, lakini si jaweza kumpata wife for Amos. Uh, so um, I managed to get the brother Ken. I know that you know him and we just wanted to see uh, how far we can go with this. Tukutana tu wanaume kwa wanaume kwanza. As you cannot, my wife is not around today and it's because we, want, we just want to meet as men. So that to jue, this story inaenda aje. Kumuka ya kwamba we agreed ya kwamba this will be a journey. Sio kitu ya siku moja, we just want to work with Amos and with everyone else involved, including Ken and Derek. Kaje kama tampata, we just want to have a harmonious ending. Na kumekuwa na hizo issues mkipatilia, mnaona ya kwamba, you know, kulikuwa na ata scaffold between uh, Ken and Amos. And uh, ata ni majabu sana ya kwamba lewa mmeketi pamoja, but it's because ya yeah, ile kazi mba tumefanya. We are so determined ya kwamba, we have to get to the end of this. So again, kindly subscribe to this channel because it's about to get, you know, a wonderful here. So, karibu sana Ken. So I think it's, it's the first time I'm meeting Ken, so I really feel good about it. And thank you very much for accepting to come so that uh, to Ayo now to, to plan here panapale. Asante pia Amos kwa kutukubalia kukuja kwako ili to handle haya maneno na tuone kama ya taisha. Karibu sana. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, uneza tu wasalimia uh, kidogo. Hello everybody, I hope mko sawa. Uh, Karibuni sana so that tunaweza discuss one or two three things zenye zinaweza kuwa constructive na zitusaidie kwa maisha. Mm. Asante sana uh, Aluda mm. kwa kutuleta hapa so that tuongee. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Uh, Tunajaribu tu leo kusikwe na high temperatures. So almost uh, wasalimie pia. Mm. Hi good people. Uh, I'm so happy Mr. Aluda. Thank you for organizing this meeting, mm -hmm. Mr. Ken. Mm -hmm. Karibu sana. Still at home. Yeah. Good. Sasa, um, pale mambo ya lipo kuwa ya kiendelea tulikuwa tumepata ya kwamba um, Amos na wife awa kuwa mali pazuri sana. Na tusema ya kwamba tutafuta wife wake so that we see if we can have a conversation ambayo wife wake atasema the side of the story. Um, but bado hatujaweza kumpata but at least uh, tunajua kwamba Ken amekuwa na the sister who is the wife to Amos yes. and labda anaweza tu uh, katueleza uh, wife wa Amos anaendelea aje na pia tuambie haya mambo yalianza vipi and uh, so that we just have a good conversation without hiking the temperatures so um Ken unaweza tuambie bana uh, mbona wife wa Amos amejificha your sister is cannot be found and we just want you know mambo yaishe vizuri kama uliona tulizungumza na Amos na akanyenyekea you know aliongea vizuri sana na ni vizuri ya kwamba haya mambo yaishe uh, so unaweza tuambia nini kwanza sababu watu hata wajui your side of the story you can tell us mambo yalifika wapi mkakwazania wapi so that we can see how we can help one another well, all right. I think maybe most importantly to begin with, I'd like to thank you and also to thank Mr. Amos mm -hmm. for taking the bold steps and to just make us an attempt mm -hmm. of making in a call mm -hmm. to just try and reach out mm -hmm. and, you know, wakunita ni kuja hapa. Yes. Uh, surprisingly, it is my first time kukuja kwa nyumba ya Amos. Wow. Tangu wa wana na sister Amos. Karibu, karibu, karibu. Nadi wako na watoto wa wili. Nadi wako na watoto wa wili. It is my first time kukuja hapa. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, uh, Amos. I, I really like this place. You have a beautiful house. Mm -hmm. It really reflects uh, what you've been saying and what you've been doing out there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would, I would like to say that my sister is in safe hands right now. Okay. She's doing great. Um, if you asked me how the story began, mm -hmm. I would really not know how it began mm -hmm. because I'm, I have not been around mm -hmm. for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, wakati wa Liohana, mm -hmm. normally when we meet, mm -hmm. me and my sister meet, mm -hmm. it's been on a point of meeting at home. 
or, or just organizing a meetup mm-hmm. between the two of us mm-hmm. as a brother and sister. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've been away for a long time mm-hmm. and I never knew that she could be going through something in marriage mm-hmm. until that point <clears> when I saw things trending online. Mm-hmm. And in fact, I did see it myself. Mm-hmm. There, there's a friend of mine who texted me and you know it's a friend of mine who knows that we are family mm-hmm. now have you seen what is happening to your sister mm-hmm. so i had to go and check on uh, 2k tv what is really happening mm-hmm. and the, that is why that is how i found out that my sister is going through hell mm-hmm. and that is how i contacted uh, uh director j mm-hmm. and that is how we got to a point and started talking that can engage now who you want to um, I think for me, mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm a lover of family mm-hmm. and um, personally, I'm married, mm-hmm. I have a family of my own, so I would really love to see a happy family from my sister, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so I'm pro-family, I'm not against families, mm-hmm. so uh, really to just see them happy mm-hmm. is one, one of the things that I would really love to see. Mm-hmm. But one of the things I could not allow myself to see mm-hmm. is my sister go through hard times in life na mimi niko tu huko kwa mshughuli zangu so that is how i came okay. yeah and uh by by almost calling me to this place mm-hmm. uh i really want to believe mm-hmm. it's not like the other time because kuna wakati nilikutana na yeye mbele ya director je office and it was chaotic oh. it was messy and it was dramatic mm-hmm. and i didn't like everything but uh, I really like the way the tone he is coming in with it today. Mm-hmm. And I really feel maybe we can discuss something out of it mm-hmm. today. Okay, that's wonderful. If it's only sana a kwamba will you come through Wakisha Kwamba, your sister is living right and uh his issues and bazo konazo at least sinaru di chini. And I think it was a good thing a kwamba withdraw your sister Kidogo. At least, you know, mambo ya cool down, fear here. I, I understand that because you're a family man, kuna vitu ambazo ni kukimuambia, advice pale, unamkanso kama brother. And ingependa um, tu kujua, at this point, is your sister willing to, you know, to reconcile with Amos? Because sisi ya tukweza kumpata kwa simu. Na um, that is our interest, ya kwamba labda waendele vizuri. But um, is, is she willing to reconcile with Amos and kama kuna issues ni issues gani ambazo anasema kwamba labda zimekuwa zikimsumbua vitu ambazo the highlights ambazo alikuwa anasema alikuwa na go through uh, under Amos ni vitu aina gani labda alikuwa ananyima chakula ama alikuwa anafanya anafanywa nini did it get to that point ambayo ilikuwa tu ni a must waachane ama what is the side of the story um okay basically mm-hmm. me I, I had a lot of things and my sister spoke so many things in my hearing mm-hmm. and things that were really um devastating mm-hmm. and hurting mm-hmm. for that matter mm-hmm. one my sister kept complaining that uh Amos has been violent for the rest of their marriage okay for the rest of their marriage amekuwa mm-hmm. kikuja kwa nyumba if my, my sister asks for something mm-hmm. anapata slap mm-hmm. anapata blow oh. ama anaambiwa maneno mbaya mm-hmm. so amekuwa kivumilia mm-hmm. like you know my sister has not been complaining mm-hmm. because she feared that if she complains mm-hmm. uh, and i had been i was against the marriage right from the onset oh, okay so okay. yale kwa naogopa if at a raise alarm ama niambie mtamwambia mm-hmm. ni wewe mwenyewe ulijituma so alikuwa na hiyo uongo mm-hmm. so hata wakati walikuwa wanapigana kwa hiyo nyumba mm-hmm. they never would contact me or anybody at home mm-hmm. something else she kept complaining about is Amos was hanging out with other ladies out there mm-hmm. and akikuja kwa nyumba <coughs> he denies her sex okay okay you know that that's a conjugal right for a marriage right you cannot right. deny that from your wife right. so it, she kept saying when we were talking that Amos for a long time has kept uh, her in the cold mm-hmm. and has not uh, attended to her for a long time. Mm-hmm. She also kept complaining that Amos amekuwa kikuja kwa nyumba late. Mm-hmm. 
sometimes anamwambia anaenda business trips na anaenda anakaa huko hivyo na all one month na akiwa huko one month there's no communication akimpigia simu alistive ameenda tu huko anasema ako business tours ama business trips ama whatever and you see my sister akona mtoto mdogo Mm-hmm. Ako, ako a very young family mm-hmm. that needs the attention of a man mm-hmm. so at that point really i felt so bad about it okay. she had so many things she was complaining about mm-hmm. and uh, uh, i felt those are those are reasons okay. that uh, should deter them from being together mm-hmm. now uh, whether my sister is willing to go back to that marriage mm-hmm. is not subject to discussion right now mm-hmm. why because my sister wakati nilimpata out of this marriage mm-hmm. she was through a mental breakdown oh mm-hmm. ako kwa ameingia kwa depression mm-hmm. she is not okay mm-hmm. so ata ki make decision right now we cannot support mm-hmm. so until she goes through a process of counseling mm-hmm. for some time and then she gets an opportunity to to settle down so that any decision she makes mm-hmm. she's making it out of a, a mindset a right conscious mm-hmm. and from a point of settled mind mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so as at now she's not in the best <coughs> position to really say whether she's ready to go back into that marriage na pia unajua bado kidonda bado ni bitch ni juzi tu kimeko to stop with manena so i think maybe that is the position right now Well um I hear you zile sababu ambazo unasikia because hatuja mpata yeye mwenyewe atueleze like the brother is saying kwamba amekuwa akicomplain bila amesema so but brother Amos wakati tulikutana last time ulikuwa na issue sana tukitaja hii jina violence or violence na um, we, we actually had to cut the, the, the conversation midway kwa sababu ulikuwa unaona kwamba hii mambo watu wanasema violence and you know she is your property here and there na you know it's recurring again unajua hiyo ni kitu kwa tunaangalia tu kwa kwa, 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 kwa youtube kwa tukia kwamba umekuwa violent but you know it's not ya kwamba itilifanyika tu during that time during that uh, session kwa na Amos i mean and uh, director J so <coughs> Ken has said ya kwamba ni kitu ambacho imekuwapo tangu mwanzo wakati marriage ikianza through the marriage and last time tulikwambia what wakati unapiga mwanamke ama wakati unamshautia any kind of uh, physical abuse inamfanya hawezi kuwa the best version of herself and uh, unasikia kwamba mpaka alisig into depression Nimeogopa sana kupitia hiyo place ya Valen so that uh, we could go high temperatures again but we just want to know have you changed your mind regarding this we we told our viewers kwamba you need some space at least to collect yourself to think things through but e violence wewe unaona kwamba sio issue you know unafikiria kwamba ni kitu ambacho tu ni cha kawaida ama unaona kwamba uh, it's a problem that would uh, might have caused you to get this point Okay, Mr. Luda. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Ken. I'm so happy at least to for the first time to be in my house mm-hmm. and I really 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 appreciate that. Uh Aluda, mm-hmm. the last time to Liongea, tulikuwa tume tumekutuma nikamwambia kwamba at least now I'm a changed person mm-hmm. and through your advice and the guidance then kwa pamoja na your wife mm. uh, and then nikafika mahali nikafikiria mm. then through the comments then the followers at least wamekuwa nazo nimesoma one by one mm. thank you so much mm. nilikuwa napitia comments na nikaona watu wengi walikuwa wana suggest kwamba mm. i really did for my wife mm-hmm. and apologize mm more especially to my brother the last time to be kwa na yeye to mambo ayikwenda vizuri ayikwenda mm, vizuri na i remember the the, the other time to kwa na discussion ni kaongelea okay ni stay for now actually na kuja ni njua because kitu kiongelewa sana kila mtu anasema you are violent sijui mm. nini but nimekuja nika reflect mm. nikaona ni wapi na itaji kuchange mm-hmm. na ni 
nikaona area plans zenye zenye tuliongea actually kitu wa mwezi jua kuna conversation mingi imeendelea sana out of camera mm-hmm. na the couples tumekuwa yes, zile yes. zingine tumeongea mingi sana mm-hmm. na ni kuna advice zenye nimepea guidance na, na lessons nimechukua mm-hmm. na that's why unaona this time ni kwa mtu live mm-hmm. na nikahitaji nikaona my brother is here mm-hmm. na actually naona tutatengeneza tuta move forward na tutakuwa na discussion yenye tutakuwa productive mm-hmm. lakini issue venye nilikuwa nasema so people wanakuja wananiingilia wanasema lakini kuna kuna some issues venye zilikuja escalate to some accession venye mm-hmm. nimesikia my brother here akisema mm-hmm. initially in the beginning of our marriage we used to enjoy mm-hmm. we were so happy mm-hmm. then kuna vitu zenye zilitokea zenye zitarudia mm-hmm. kwa sababu ya labda size sitaki kurudia mm-hmm. but kuna issues zilitokea from your time mm-hmm. jo nikapata nikaona the way tunakuwa related kwa tunakuwa na relationship yetu haitakuwa venye ilikuwa inastahili kwa sababu ya 1 2 3 mm-hmm. so hizo issue mm-hmm. zilikam zilikam up na ndio marriage yetu kakuwa na aende <coughs> so, 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 mm-hmm. yes. just maybe just to cut you short yes i want to just know do you really want to get back to my sister because what you understand how coinje you read the comment section am it because you want to change yeah me it's not that i'm nasema kwamba zile watu wame comment wanasema ya kwamba ni ni rudi ni ni tuombane msamaha tu pamoja no nilikuwa nimesema ya kwamba ni me ni chio nikajiangalia na nikajua kwamba i really need to to apologize to my wife and i really need my family to na watoto wangu warudi that's why nilikuwa na kutafuta msaidizi calling you ili tukuje tuongee na mimi personally kwa personally with my conscious najua kwamba i need my wife not like people walikuwa wanasema kwa comment ama nini but nilikuwa nasema tu kwa comments na is advice yenye nimepata na personally mwenyewe but you still have a right man no 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 you still have a right no no to you no almost the last time i met you you were very violent and I, in fact i'm even shocked that you could even allow me to come to your house after what happened of course you ume um, you you ask for forgiveness but you are a violent man and if there is anything that maybe i would not really want is a violent man my sister into a violent man um yeah. uh, ken um i think kuna kuna kitu ambacho alikuwa amesema pale mwanzo kwamba kuna story ambazo hataki kuzirejelea sasa hivi lakini <coughs> i, kama najo huenda ulifuatilia um alisema kwamba walikuwa vizuri mwanzo exactly lakini yeah. sasa Uh, i, wakati alienda nje kwa zile business trips and what have you alikuja akapata kwamba um, kwa fupi tu alipata kwamba the first born uh, child ambao amekuwa naye na your sister is not really his child na uh, alisema kwamba wakati alienda there was a possibility ya kwamba there was cheating na wakati alienda kufanya DNA test ika turn out negative Um, and uh, wa pili ndio alikubali kwamba ni mtoto wake so according to you woni kama kulikuwa na issue mahali on, on the side of your sister ama ku, ni kitu ambacho amekueleza ama you're hearing for the first time now but you know regardless mm-hmm. me i don't have a problem with uh, if there was cheating mm-hmm. i don't have a problem if there was a child out of wedlock mm-hmm. my problem is what was the process Mm-hmm. because that means mm-hmm. uh, we'll always show mm-hmm. no whatever you are doing what is the process did he ever make an effort mm-hmm. to come to us na tuambie you my, my my wife your sister or daughter has done abcd mm-hmm. did he ever call us did he ever inform us did he ever even call a family meeting mm-hmm. did he even ever call uh, elders from my clan mm-hmm. to come and talk about that mm-hmm. i've never had of such a meeting So me I'm just hearing things from social media and in fact I'm hearing this for the first time if we was somebody else and get Twitter I said you know what 
I was abroad for a business trip and I'm coming back and I'm finding a child that is not my child. I have proven I have papers. I've done the DNA test. This is the, these are the papers. Mm -hmm. What do I do? Then the elders advise. Mm -hmm. But if you will turn violent to your wife because of that reason, mm -hmm. it beats reasoning. Lakini, lakini, brother Ken, kuna elewa ya kwamba bitu zingine, when people have family issues, and you being a family man, you'll agree with me that um, uh, kabla mamu haya jaenda sana, you try to sort it in house exactly. before yeah. uh, we include watu wengine. Kama nikitu ambacho muneza sort it in house, Nikito Mbacho, you ni person about Muneza and Zanaya. Like if, they had, Kana, if they had sorted it mm -hmm. in house, mm -hmm. then Atunge Kwa Hapa. It so, means they didn't sort it. So, so, yeah. so. <clears throat> Just means you didn't sort it in no, house. We talked it first because it, it happened twice. So, the first instance when it happened, Tulikubaliana. Tukasema, now I forgive you. Na I can promise it won't happen. That was the, now we kakuja because now I'm a business person. Na kuna vitu zenye zingine sikipikia, sikipata watu wengine wanazatumia wrongly. Na then asikuwa nataka kuanza kuenda kuinvolve family because kutakuwa na some issues. Nika sema, personally nika take, nika sema now, let, let it be between us. So the issue wakati ilikuja ikafanya mjua sasa now vitu zikababilika ni ile time yenye Mimi nilikuwa nimetoka na nikarudi nikapata mfanyakazi kwa mali kwenye astahili kuwa na my wife. So wakati hapo hata kama ni wewe utafanya aje. Unasikia hiyo uchungu na hii story ya kwanza sikuwa nimeitoa na sikuwa nataka kutoa hii ya pili. Nika jaribu venye inawezekana huyu mfanyakazi akatolewa. So hivyo ile uchungu yenye nilikuwa nayo nikaona sasa eh, kama my wife anaweza fanya hivi nika take initiative nikamwona sitaki kuwa atoke nikaweka kamera kwa nyumba na nikamwambia so akuwa anashinda kwa nyumba zimeliona kama nikimwachilia itakuwa tena issue nyingine na pale pale so si kuwa nataka ni cause tena nikuwa na issue nyingine nilikuwa na jaribu ku protect my marriage lakini yes yes amos hiyo ni kitu ambacho ni kizuri ulifanya yeah. so, sort it in house that was a, the right process but mali ulikosea because Leading to where we have got tonight means a kwamba that was just a blanket. Um, it you just know, covered it. Yes. Hamuku yangalez, kusabu we uli endelea life na machungu, mukiwa kwa kifilia kwamba, mkosao. Because now this is now what led to violence, and then again, just because your wife cheated or did ABCD, it doesn't mean that where we're now, you we have to cheat. Because two wrongs don't make a right. Right, and I know that we talked about this, and um, uh, you're willing to, uh, you know, to, to, you know, to go over it, and we're just going through briefly so that uh, my brother understands where we, we are at this point. So, and uh, uh, that was right uh, because up to until number we've got quite two k, you know, message. It means ya kwamba that was not handled. And that means because now we, we, we are, I'm, I'm trying to reach out to you know your wife and uh, I've tried to reach out to Ken because it would be very, very sad. It would be very, very sad sort higher mambo hapa. And then your wife comes back and then we have that continuing. So because your wife badu akona kidonda, right? And we're just trying our best to see if this can work at this point. So still, Vizuri, Akwamba, you we just rush over it to say, Akwamba, ah, you you've uh, asked forgiveness. Then to Ingia Palatena, it becomes another story. Alipata Vizuri. So, um, Vizuri, if if you you have gone through the, the right procedure, now Umejo Akwamba, you have to take your wife back. Na muanze kwanjia ambayo ni mzuri, that will be good. But kama bado unasikia kuna mtu wazi na kusumbua, ni vizuri ya kwamba bado utulie, alright? You give your wife time, you give uh, your wife and uh, her brother the time to go over this, because I will be a believer she, is, she needs a lot of counseling. But kama pia ye labda ametulia kidogo ni vizuri tu pia tumpatio na fasi. 
Now, Bado, I remember Bado was saying that she cheated, and we, we just wanted her to give her side of the story. It's very true. Yeah. And and you know that uh, Ken cannot really shed truth on that. Nyetu mwenyewe, anaeza kuja hapa na sema kwa mbezi kwa njiti na hivi. Then we can see how we can, but we just want to create that environment. And I'm sure that um, uh, you are watching um, uh, the sister to Ken, please. Ayo ushukiche tu temperatures chini ukuje tuzungumze ili tuone kama familia inaweza endelea kama mambo yanaweza kuwa mazuri but the most important thing is to to detoxify uji detox kabisa kama kuna any bitterness uko nayo but from what i've been seeing brother Ken you have done very many sessions with Amos and uh, we are trusting ya kwamba anachukua the right direction we are hoping that ni ni kitu ambacho umefikiria mwenyewe ili tunaweza you know useme kwa saa ya mambo yamekuwa so vizuri je what do you have to say are you ready unaona bado kuna makosa watu wanakufanyia okay personally now mimi nimekubali juu kwanza ya mara ya kwanza wakati hiyo mambo ilikufanya mimi nilikuwa nimesamea na hakuna mtu alikuwa amejua so saa hizi ile ile nataka mm. mimi nataka my wife barudi mm. ni kama kuna mahali kwenye nimekuja mimi nimeomba msamaha mm. na ile story mingi yenye imekuwa hata mimi personally mimi nimekubali mm. sina issue you already nilikuwa na take care of the watoto mm-hmm. sikuwa nimekuwa nime nikasema huyu this is not my kid mm-hmm. ama nini so mimi niko ready na brother in law kama amekuja hivi mimi naomba wakaongee na wife akikuja akubaliane mimi am ready to forgive then to move on happy sunday now we, we want to see um if um, my brother pia atatulia tu uh, brother ken kama anaweza tulia akubali ku you know ku kuita the sister so that we can have just a good conversation ili haya mambo ya ishe then we we'll see if we can be able to reach out to the director okay but before we do that can you kindly enjoy and subscribe to this channel subscribe to the aludas channel iko hapa chini na pia subscribe kwa channel ya ken iko hapa chini so that you can uh, be up to date with, with with what will be coming in the coming days 